$10,000. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, then hello. My name is Jennifer V. Welcome to another lit video. So for today's video, I'm basically going to be going over how I did my taxes and what I owe. As you guys know, um, us as dancers, we do not get anything taken out of what we make every time we work. So every time I reach like over $1,000 or $2,000, $3,000, I don't get anything taken away from it besides all of the club fees. So just to put it out there, this is my first year filing, the first year I can file as a dancer. I worked the whole entire year and I'm basically going to go over where I filed, how I filed, how much um, it was to file with them and just the importance of filing because honestly a lot of girls had told me oh I've been dancing for three years and I've never filed and I'm just like no thank you no 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 I'm gonna tell you guys why you need to file so basically if you ever want to buy a house any building complex um, anything really a car you need to show your proof of income and what as a dancer which you get a 1099 a 1099 is super different from a w-2 because you are a independent contractor so basically they gave me i'm not going to show you guys the sheet but they gave me the 1099 which it came with two of the copies so make sure you give them both to your whoever you're filing with that i gave the club this amount of money to work there which is just the leasing fees that's what the tax companies call it it is just the leasing fees okay and it was a huge number you guys it was thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars so i brought those two sheets of paper and then the leasing fee sheets and then also um look at all of my paper you guys this is everything that i brought like yeah so i also brought all of my write-offs so you can write off your expenses like your outfits your hair your nails um anything really that you use your makeup so i have all of those receipts you guys let me just show you guys like all of these receipts and trust me there is so much more how i did it i basically separated all of my um outfits and all of my parking tickets all of my house fees by months you're not supposed to do it by months it really doesn't matter as long as you add up everything so yeah that's what my tax um person was doing i basically like took out the sheet of paper and i was like throwing her numbers like crazy i was like okay 152 uh 321 71 dollars 300 like it was it was like that and it was kind of like a waste of time but not really because it all added up in the end but i'm just telling you guys for future reference as well as myself you know um, next time we file, that's just keep that organized, you know. Don't do it by months. Do it just like round everything up. And then you're going to need to calculate your mileage. So from your house to the club, back and forth, and how many days you work a week. Multiply that and then you should get your answer. So gas expense, I'm sorry, mileage, outfits, makeup, um, auto repairs. You also want to bring in those receipts as well. Like last year I had my radiator change, my coolants, um, just like a whole bunch of shit, you guys. So I got that written off as well. And then what else? I can do my lip fillers, but that's next year. I'm going to write that off because that is an expense. I'm also going to get that redone though because I feel like you can't really tell I got my lips done. I just want it a little more plump, you know, because... I've made more money than I've ever made in my whole entire life this year. Well, y'all already know because I pretty much vlogged my whole experience, but y'all know I, I was getting that money, you know? So in my head, I'm like, fuck, like I'm already knowing I'm gonna have to owe thousands and thousands of dollars. Like, okay, so I'm gonna tell you how much I owe, okay? So I was very, very shook though. Let me tell you guys, I'm very fucking shook. Like I'm still shook right now, like, because I was, procrastinating like even filing but i'm like bro like i literally did it the 18th which is the deadline april 18th just because like i was so scared like i was so scared to even file just because i've never made this amount of money i have never touched this amount of money in my whole entire life like which is crazy because looking back i know that i've made 
so much money so i'm like fuck like i'm not getting taxed so i already know like i'm not gonna get anything i'm gonna have to owe so much money back just then also just because one of my girls that used to work with me like she had told me she was like oh my god girl i already filed and like she owes a shit ton of money you guys like well i'm gonna tell you guys how much she owes just because y'all don't know who she is you know what i'm saying so she told me she has to pay back eight thousand dollars okay eight thousand dollars and mind you this got me so scared because we when we all got our 1099s um we were me and her were super close and we shared you know how much we made or whatnot oh my god it's raining so we showed how much we both made and i've made more money than her by i don't even know how much i want to say by like twenty thousand dollars so since she said that she owes the irs eight thousand dollars me making 20 grand more than her i'm like fuck i probably owe like ten thousand now you know like if she owes eight grand i'm obviously gonna have to owe more you know now when she told me girl i had to pay eight thousand dollars back i'm like whoa like hold up what the fuck like i can't right now because since obviously i made 20 more grand than she did i'm gonna have to owe more than eight grand you know that's what's running through my head the whole entire like months since i found that out so i'm just like chicken shit i'm just like fuck like you know like procrastinating or whatever but i'm like fuck it like if you don't file you will get audited you will get um what is that thing i think they put like strikes on you i don't know what it's called um but yeah, the IRS does not play and I am trying to be in a good balance with them. Um, the tax lady even told me, she was like, you have to treat this like a business. Like she was so like, you have to treat this like a business. I was like, girl, I already know, you know, like, but she knew I was serious because I was very professional. I had all of my documents and whatnot. Although I did not add everything up, like my receipts and whatnot, she knew that it was my first time filing and just she answered every single one of my questions and i just felt very comfortable you know um sometimes like when you file as a dancer you kind of feel uncomfortable because it's like you don't know if they're judging you or not but i felt super super comfortable sorry if you guys can hear the rain in the back it is like it is like raining raining in chicago but hopefully it's not raining this weekend curls your girl is not playing no games okay so me still working at the club, still thinking about how much taxes I'm going to have to owe. Like in my head, I'm like, fuck, I already know it's going to be more than 10000 you know. So it just made me push harder to bust my ass and really go to every single one, really rack up on them tips and whatnot just because I was scared, you know. Like I don't want to be in debt. That is one of my fears. I do not want to be in debt, you guys. Just because my credit is super good. Like I have everything on track. Like... I have to give myself props, you know, like I really worked hard to get my credit up and just have everything that I have. So I really don't want to mess up with the IRS, you know. But I filed with H&R Block. I wanted someone official. I do not want anybody in who was a tax accountant before and is not now or just anybody who thinks they can do taxes. I don't care because last year... Um, someone did my taxes and they fucked everything up so the IRS actually sent me a sheet and I got audited I got the sheet from the IRS stating that I'm basically getting audited for about four thousand dollars I was like yo how if I went to this tax person who used to do taxes for many years who knows what he's doing how is this possible you know and that's through my w-2s that's before I started dancing because you guys know I barely started dancing like a year and a couple months ago so this is strictly just w-2s so basically he messed up my w-2s he claimed that i did not get um the covid and the tax relief funds or whatnot and which i really did but you know and i told him i remember i told him that i did but sometimes people just are stuck on oh i'm gonna get you the biggest return possible and that's not it you know so now i'm pretty much fucked and i have to work out that situation but for this one, I wanted to go to someone who's official and a huge company. I already know H&R Block is super official, you guys. I have my paperwork right here. And I'm obviously not going to show you guys, but she found the problem where I'm getting audited from because I also brought my taxes um, just in case, you know, I didn't really know what she needed. 
so she was just looking over it and she really helped me and i'm gonna go back to her every single year because when we were filing after we were done or whatnot i was doing all my write-offs it felt super good to just lay everything out with someone who really knew about it and like after the whole thing we were running through numbers and i was like okay so how much do i owe she was like you don't know anything and i was like and then she was like you're actually getting a return back but i was like wait what and she broke it down and told me basically where the return is coming from it's not a lot of money i'm getting back about a thousand six hundred which is nothing compared to what i make but at the same time i did not think that i was getting anything back you guys like it is so insane and i'm super grateful that i chose the right person and the right company and I'm going to tell you guys how much I paid to even file with H&R Block just because I was super iffy. Uh, so to file my taxes at H&R Block, it was $630. So basically to file, everything is a fee to go into, um, you know, because if you have any dependents, that's a fee because they have to go through everything. Um, being a 1099 employee, that's a bigger fee than just filing as a W-2. It's just different factors, so it added up to like 500. Plus, they have a peace of mind, um, like little policy you can sign up for. Basically, if the IRS audits you or doesn't like um, how H&R Block did this year's filing, then they will pay a certain percentage of what the IRS um, comes back with and that is about forty dollars so i just got it it's basically kind of like insurance um so i just added it on for honestly you guys i'm super happy i am super super happy just because i th i thought i was gonna have to dig into my savings to even pay back my taxes because like i said i really 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 felt in my bones and in my heart that i was going to have to owe ten thousand dollars if not more so to not have to owe anything not one dollar back and actually get a return back is insane to me you guys insane but at the same time you know everybody is different i just want to tell you guys what i did and how it happened for me um as you guys know since we are 1099 employees we do get a what is that called earned income credit so they kind of subtracted what um i had to owe to even be a self-employed employee off of that so that's why it's only just a little bit was just going to plan on doing quarterly payments um if you guys do end up owing like a bunch of money back you know you can do like quarterly payments you can throw down like three thousand right now in like three months you could throw down another three thousand like you just gotta really work with the irs and i suggest that you guys do Please do your taxes. Don't be like these females that do not do their taxes because honestly, we make too much money to not do our taxes. And I say that just because if you want to buy any house or any type of property, a car, a house, apartment, whatever, you need to show your income, like no matter what, and you're not going to get away with it. So I suggest that you do file your taxes because, you know, you're going to lose in the long run and you really don't want any problems with the IRS, let me tell you. And I already know I'm going to get a lot of people that be like, oh my God, $600, $630 to file. That is outrageous. But when you're a 1099 employee, I suggest you go to someone official. Don't go to, you know, taxpayers in a basement or someone, you know, like that used to do taxes or like just your friends doing your taxes. Um, because this is nothing to play with, especially if you're making tons of money. You want to make sure everything is right so although 6 30 to file is outrageous at the end of the day i really thought i was gonna owe back over 10 grand so for me not to owe a dollar and actually get a return back is insane um i also just want you guys to remember to keep all of your receipts for everything for your house for your outfits for your gas um mileage everything okay because everything is an expense okay? Just like my tax lady said, this is a business. Like, it really, really is a business. And honestly, you got to spend money to make money. Because if I didn't spend thousands of dollars on my outfits, heels, makeup, hair, all that stuff, then I would have to owe so much more. But since I used that as a write-off, it took out thousands, like thousands and thousands of dollars, you guys. So that's the importance of that.
But yeah, I instantly hit up my girl that said that she owes the IRS 8,000 stacks because I'm like, whoa, girl, who did you go to? Like, let me know because I just came out of H&R Block and I don't owe them anything. I'm actually getting a return back. So she's just like, what? What the fuck? Where'd you go? Like, I hope she works that out and stuff, but I just really hope that you guys go to someone who is official that can actually help you guys and dig into everything. Make sure if they have a peace of mind policy that you guys definitely sign that up. Um, it is obviously an extra charge. It was $40 extra, but it's a peace of mind policy for a reason. And I think it's worth it, especially if you are a independent contractor. So it's Wednesday today and I just want to take this time to say this. Um, sometimes when it's Wednesdays, I get so bored. Let me put you guys on my tripod. I get so bored, you know, and I'm just like, ugh, it's such a boring Wednesday. I don't know what to do. But then I remember what I used to do on Wednesdays, you guys. And on Wednesdays, as you guys know, I used to work at my other club. Um, that's when I barely started. I would work Wednesdays. I would make less than $500, less than $300. I didn't have a savings account. And honestly, I was just trying to figure it all out. So fast forwarding to now, it's just such a blessing to not have to work Wednesdays. And I have a big savings account. And just where it took me, I just feel super, super blessed. Because just remembering like how much I had to hustle and grind on a Wednesday. You know, Wednesday's night were tough. No, it's just something about Wednesdays always humbled me the most and I don't know just thinking back it's super crazy because man I was hustling on Wednesdays now fast forwarding I don't have to work Wednesdays I'm just chilling I basically do whatever I want hence why I'm filming um, it's it's a crazy journey it's definitely a crazy journey and just being able to work two days and to afford anything and everything that I want is I'm just freaking thankful and I'm so happy that I have someone to share my journey with which is you guys so thank you guys so much for your support I really do appreciate it I don't know my point is life is crazy like I've never would have expected I would be here today and that I would have a lot of supporters which it's I'm lost for words. I honestly am. And this is not the final destination, you guys. This is definitely not the final destination. I have so much in store. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So, if you guys have any other videos, any recommendations, make sure you drop that down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you check out my TikTok. It will be right here at JenniferV23. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.